Oh, I gotta go. 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 I gotta go fast. Oh my god. What the? Listen. Oh, this one's a banger. Welcome to another video. Today, bros, we're actually going to be playing Furious to Fathom Iron Bark Lookouts. So shout out to Ray LL for putting in that work on development. Was it not downloaded? Ooh, man, that's embarrassing. Hold on, bro. I guess I'll just uh pop a Jolly Rancher while I wait. Y'all want one? Y'all liking this ASMR? I'm just trying to stall. You know, we're only at 25%. I'm just... uh. No, I, I don't. I don't want to edit this out. I know that's what you're thinking. Why don't you edit this out, Mikey? No, no, I'm not gonna edit it out, bro. So y'all want a, a Jolly Rancher? The rapper is kind of. Yeah, you want it? You, you want it? Come on! All music and tracks in this video game are copyright free. Thank you so much. All right, without further ado, I think we're actually ready to get into this. He already has like the the fifth thing with question marks, so we know another game is coming. That's nice to know. So as some of you may know, Fierce to Fathom. It's an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survive. So yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think um people submit these stories to him and then he turns it into a game. But anyway, May 2nd. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. This is their message right here. I was just talking about that. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. Feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I am writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Y'all don't hype this story up. I'm kind of excited to see what it's about, man. I'm Jack Nicholson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This is one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Okay. Yeah, but we listening to some Beethoven or something? What is this, sensual piano music? I, hold on. Hey, I've been going down the freaking road, driving in this RV. That's my humble. Hold on. I crashed. Okay, we're looking at Kayla. Hold on. This dude is spitting, yo. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? You'll probably see Billy at the gate. I just showed him your ID. So this is, um, golly, bro. I done scratched up my biggest accomplishment to this moment. This RV. I lived a very solitary life. Nah, this is chill, bro. Honestly, I like the vibes of this. You just going down like a, a mountain field area or trees, you know, a lot of trees. I was like a forest kind of. The speed limit is 25 miles per hour. Wow. Um, but yeah, it just seems kind of relaxing. That's a big truck. What happens if I just... Ah, what I take this <laughs> oh, and then, we, and then we just get up from it like it's nothing. Oh my gosh, man. I've always loved the great outdoors. That's what I'm saying. Going on like a camping trip would be so dope. Just surrounded by the nature gave me happiness. Or being surrounded. I felt like I was at home in the woods. This OST got me feeling at home. Oh, let me not text and drive. Let me check this out. I remember there's this diner uh, while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I can really use a good meal before the uh, staffing starts. Thanks. 
This dude is cooking, bro. Uh. Uh. Dang. Say you miss me, you know it's history. But when I was with you, it was nothing but misery. Baby, girl, it wasn't working out. So you know. Okay. What the fuck? My car! Bro, my. I thought a cutscene started. Golly, what, what the freak was happening, bro? <laughs> I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Want to stop? Oh, my fault, man. I didn't mean to crash into your ride. You know this ain't realistic. There ain't no way I'd see somebody just go crash up to my car. And then I, I say nothing about it and keep eating my sandwich. Golly. What am I doing playing bumper cars? The handling in this whip is atrocious. Okay. It's actually clean in here, bro. See, the only thing is, it's not much entertainment, like, at all. No TVs. Just the radio. But I think this is, like, an old-school uh, situation, too. Because diners don't really look like this anymore. Or cars. You know, there's a lot more modern cars these days. So, we're definitely in the old times, I think. Um, hold on, let me ask this dude something. Dang, bro. Is it good? This ASMR is nasty, bro. It sounds like your burger isn't even cooked, fam. How's the burger? I don't even need to ask him that. Obviously, it's good. Where are you headed? I'm from Roseburg. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. What about yourself? I'm a staffer at Iron uh, Bark. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, I keep a Bigfoot or a Goatman. People say there's something like that living in this forest. Do you believe it? A lot of the hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. Yikes, bro. Okay. Big yikes. They just gave me an achievement for talking to him. They better give me something for listening to these burger and throat sounds, bro. Like, bro. Like, like I, I'm thinking about it. I don't know if that's literally his throat or if it's the burger itself. Because if that's the burger, it ain't cooked. I'm going to stop chatting about that burger. I'm going to let him enjoy his meal. I got to go ahead and get mine. I'm just hating because I'm hungry. Can I change this? Oh, I can turn it off. Oh, oh no, I can't. What's this track? Dang, you look dead inside, bro. You look like a mannequin, like in the face area, like a um, like an upgraded eye robot or something. Welcome to the Twin Wiver Diner. How are you doing today? Uh, good. How about yourself? Feel free to take any seats uh you like, and I'll be right with you. All right. Okay. Okay. What? Is, okay. I had to peep the shoe game real quick. You got the slowest walk ever. You literally walk like a robot or an NPC of some sort. Oh my gosh, bro, you walk like everything hurts. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries? Mmm, sounds kinda good if you ask me. But a grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings? I ain't really feeling the onion rings. I don't know. But then we have a meatball sub with chicken nuggets. I don't like that. Let's get cheeseburger and fries. Aha, our burger is the best in the West. Uh, would you like anything to drink? Give me a strawberry slush. Perfect, anything else? That will be all, thank you. Great, I'll bring you the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Uh, sounds good. Appreciate it. By the way, oh, okay. I've always had the habit of peeing before eating. I feel it. Um, I don't necessarily do that every time, but I, I can see what would make you want to do that. Oh, wow. We, we got to we gotta aim it again. Oh, no, no. I, oh, it's all out of whack. I'm missing. I can't keep this sucker under control. It just keeps swinging. <laughs> Okay, bro. <laughs> okay, we don't have any rendered. Um, wait, did I have the ability to walk out without washing my hands? 
Kind of crazy. All right, let me dry them off. All right. Side note, I was going to say, y'all, it's very important to be very kind to your waitresses or waiters when they're serving you your food. You don't want to piss off the people that hold your life in their hands. You may not realize it, but they could kill you if they wanted to. Facts. They could put some the most vile thing in your food. That's why I respect people. Don't be a Karen, bro. Don't be annoying. Whenever I go like, and I'm alone, maybe eating somewhere or ordering whatever it is, I always say thank you so much. Have a great day. Really appreciate you because I want them to know. Like I'm being as nice as possible because I ain't trying to die. Like you feel me, bro? You can catch somebody on the wrong day and you'll be on the toilet for weeks because you pissed them off. Okay. Oh, do, do, was you about to talk to about something? Golly, bro, you palming the whole entire fries? Like, why not pull them up one by one? Oh, hold on, let me, let me check my phone. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. I ain't gonna lie, this food does look, it looks pretty decent, bro. It don't look crazy like, like standard fast food type beat. You feel me? I could go for a burger right now. I ain't even gonna hold you. I told you, <laughs> the food reminds me. Uh, you should send me that casserole recipe that you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the arts of cuisine in the new lookout. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Oh, okay, I, I didn't get to finish reading. Did you enjoy the food? Yes, I did, very great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, be right back. All right, man. I'm sorry I roasted you when I first saw you, Barbara. Like, you was looking kind of crazy. Obviously, in real life, when you're <laughs> dining somewhere, don't don't roast the waitresses, bro. Or, or, or waiters. At least don't let them hear you if you do it. Because <laughs> they, they might get you back, bro. Here's the check. Your total is $7.60. What happens if I give you a 50% tip? Tip the waitress. Generous. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. All right. I don't know how true this is in current day, but I heard that waitresses or, or waiters like really depend on tips more so than their actual pay because they don't make that much an hour. Um, I think uh, restaurants can even get away with legally paying a waiter or waitress like less than minimum wage. Why is my door open? Did I not close it? Oh, no, nah, that was goofy, bro. The bathroom door was strangely jammed. No, bro, my door was what the freak? What the freak? Don't tell me it's somebody inside the whip. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, let me see if I double check. Can I open this up? Oh man. But it's important to tip when you go out to places. You never know who may need it. So if somebody just comes behind me and freaking strangles me while I'm driving. I'm going to smash down on the gas and go off a cliff, bro. Taking them with me, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've been going through the forest all a freaking long. <laughs> I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in these woods. You've seen horrors in these woods? You've seen a horror in these woods? Oh my gosh, bro. I was literally about to crash into somebody. All right, let me put it in reverse. Get like right here. Something tells me, nah, I should have bagged in. I should have bagged in, because what if I need like a speedy getaway? I'm definitely going to bag in just in case I got to like leave immediately, bro. You know? All right, put that thing in reverse. Back that thing up. Woo -wee! All right, let's straighten up, straighten up. Oh, I think I can't go back any further. <laughs> All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Is the bathroom door still jammed? I can't believe this guy is saying his bathroom door is strangely jammed. Like, sir, what happens if you need to use the bathroom, bro? You kind of need to figure that out. Bust the door down, do something. Yep, Iron Bark Skate Park. This looks like exactly where I got to clock in at. <laughs> Bro! Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? 
May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred. Uh, I'm the new. <laughs> oh, I got the accent wrong. Is that is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me check on that. Hey, can I have a gun, bro? You was over here camping in front of the computer, bro. Jump scared the mess out of me, bro. Like. It would have been worse if my volume was maxed out too. All right, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at the fire tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the uh, tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here, here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you, buddy. All right then, bro. Do I gotta leave the whip park here or what? Well, these are like missing posters. Okay, Br since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the uh, long hike you're, uh, to your lookout. Appreciate it, Billy. You be careful, take this. Good Lord, man. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from the system just uh, so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. He's a nice enough guy. He'll be uh, your closest contact in case of any emergency. Okay, have a good day, bro. Mm. Dang, bro, what's good with you? Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. All right, you got it. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Oh, yeah, the way that he... No, mm -mm, mm -mm. He was probably trying to scare you when he popped around the corner. I think he was serious with that. Look at all these bugs, bro. You need a little bug zapper or something. I used to find it so fascinating. It would be like these little blue rods. We, we prop them up. Just here zapping and, and stinging all night long, bro. It's like they they watch their whole family die to the zappers and still go in it. I never understood. It's kind of stupid. I left my bag in the RV at first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me go get my bag, actually. I feel like that was the game's way of trying to warn me, bro. Our decisions might really matter. Like on some real stuff, I think they... They matter, bro. <laughs> secured. Watch my RV for me, bro. Okay, he ain't responding. He ain't gonna watch it, bro. He doesn't give a diddly darn dang about my uh, <laughs> my freaking RV over there, bro. I'm glad they ain't gonna make me walk this whole trail. Whole time I was feeling stressed, and I ain't took nothing but like five steps in that direction. 11.32 p.m. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Hey, use? Oh, okay. Hey, it's starting to get cold. Do I have on a jacket at least, bro? Dang, we hustling, ain't we? Oh, yeah. Shift lets me sprint so I can actually run away. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Tower 11. I need to go this way then. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Man, you don't say, bro. I don't even think it's going to have heating and cooling up there. Probably not. I don't see any wire circuits or anything. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Okay, bro. You're going to be something like SpongeBob after this one. Uh, freaking indoors. 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 That's all you gonna be singing, bro. What? Oh my gosh, bro. I feel like I played a game in Roblox recently that was kind of like this. It was one of them night watch games, bro. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Oh, you literally are gonna live here. All right, let's uh, left mouse button to you. Yeah, yeah, use. Oh, 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 I missed. Oh, oh no! Is this gonna like? Set up a good fire. Looking back, it was kind of stupid to try to light a fire with no wood. Is that doing anything for me? 
Bro, I don't think it is, man. Forgot to turn the generator on at first. I walked right by the generator. Forgot to turn it on, man. Wow, I really... Wow, I got to get the lay of the land together. I walked the whole entire wrong way. So I didn't know, even know how this job worked. Honestly, I didn't know that, like, the tower watchers actually kind of, like, live up there, apparently. I'm going to go ahead and grab these binoculars for real, though. I'm going to just keep them upstairs with me. I feel like I'm going to need them. Oh, so here's the generator that I got to turn on. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we got some, like, lights and everything, too. Okay. Ooh-wee. All right, I think that's my buddy over there at Tower 12. Can I... I can scroll to zoom in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely living it up over there. I hope you don't got any girls over there, buddy. Need to uh, focus on your job, all right? So we can turn this on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this this environment kind of swaggy just a little bit, bro. Just a tad bit. I got to choose, like, how many um, windows do I actually want to open? I don't even know what my computer is doing. Is it turning on? Is this what your startup screen looks like? No way they got me on the first dang PC ever made. Check the uh, Iron Bark Rules flyer. All right, let's see where that is. Uh, they got Smokey. Repeat after me. Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 for a system password is Iron Bark Tower Number. Okay, so Iron Bark 11. That should be what it is. Iron Bark 11. Wrong. Pa what do you mean wrong password? Iron Bark 11. That should be it, yeah? There we go. We can get some YouTube going or something. Do we even have Wi-Fi in here, man? Because I know the connection has got to be cheeks all the way in the forest like this. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. Here to help you make the most of your computer today. Okay, talk to me. Tell me some more, bro. With a click, there's a random fact for you. The Amazon rainforest produces 20% of the world's oxygen. It's often referred to as the lungs of the Earth, where it's crucial role in generating the oxygen that we breathe. Click the click, there's a random fact for you. Honey over spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in the ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Okay, bro. I don't think I really feel like going through all these these facts. Service reporting. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nothing but static, yeah? New guy. Haven't gotten your name yet. Oh. What is it again? Uh, it's it's Jack. Oh, okay. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower Eleven alive again. I know, right? I'm just, I'm honestly just enjoying the view up here, bro. So, uh, we're Good watching. Job. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Nice to meet you. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change, man. Did you just not answer? I'm a transfer from my Your experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? Huh? Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Gotcha. You know who his vo uh, voice reminds me of just a little bit, bro? Freaking uh, uh, Johnny from GTA be like, I'm Johnny on the spot. <laughs> oh, I already had binoculars up here. Okay, that's dope. Osborne Firefinder. This is a giant compass size of a pizza. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, so he's telling me to get the fire okay, started. Yeah? Did you light it up yet? No, I didn't. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Around the entrance, you said? What is happening? There's no fire. Plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Oh, the staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. What do you mean by that? Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Wait, wait, wait. Was was one gritty woman? Is she dead? Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. No, I think old girl died. Ha! Ha! Okay, uh, gotta go to the storage shack, yeah? I think he, he, oh no, bro. He, they put me in a hot tower, man. I think people was dying at this one. Is somebody crazy around here? 
I don't know about this, bro. I don't know about this. And this is what I have to go use. Uh, oh, it's empty. It's clean. Oh, you know what? That's actually not too bad yet. All the way up until you literally use it. <laughs> Can I crouch? Bro, I'm going to burn down the whole freaking tower pour this gasoline like this. <laughs> All right. Is it working? Will it actually right, burn up? I see the smoke. Nice. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Uh, what happened to the last worker? Over. Did you report for the night yet? Why are you dodging the question? Here at Iron Park, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay, so real quick, I'm actually going to save this game because I have to come back to it later. <laughs> I need to find some of my tools and stuff like that. I don't know what kind of device this even is, but... Oh, is this how I get the wind speed? What, what like 20 miles per hour? All right, this, that's got to be what this is, bro. I'm just using my context clues. That thing is spinning around like a fan. So, like, you feel... Did I just lock myself out? Okay, I got to tee up. Like, what else could it be, you know? 20. Yeah, yeah, knots, knots. I had it right. Okay, then, look at me already do it by job well oh temperature temperature was 44.8 degrees fahrenheit 44.8 this was 20 weather condition ah shoot hello 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 it's definitely kind of cloudy misty whatever the word would be i want some of my windows to be more open than just this you feel me i don't want somebody to be all in my business though that that's the thing like being able to see me from the side is kind of crazy. Or my mom used to get on to me when I was a kid. She'd be like, close your blinds, Michael. <laughs> hey, bro. But that's the thing. People are crazy, though. It's cloudy, and we assisted no hikers today. I think that's a pretty good report. I wasn't sure if I put in the right weather. Oh, my fault. It's misty. Oh, okay, it looks like I'm wrong again. It's clear. Oh, it was clear. Oh, okay. So hey, I am... Copy. Uh, uh, Tower 11. Copy. I'm gonna sign off for the day. What are you about to do, bro? The night is still young. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. So he just went to sleep. So like this all sounds about right. Let me see what plague.exe it. Uh. Hey, it's a freaking play. Play the game like it's phase. That means I got the cars and I'm finna go far. Uh -huh. I'ma just keep it real. You already know the deal. It's young Mikey and I got the freaking key. What? I got the keys to success. You can say less. Everybody know that young Mikey is still the That's best. Okay. I got on a freaking shirt and it's blue. Hey, a afro is my hairdo. Yes. Hey, bills on me blue. Could you get a clue? Like it's blues clues. I've been rhyming like I'm Dr. Seuss. Yeah. Hey, look at that. That's a freaking smiley face. I'm about to go and freaking do the race. If somebody pulls up on me, it's gonna be a case. What? I have to hit the opposition in this game with that, with that nine. nine. I've been feeling kind of fine. fine. Young Mikey back again. Yeah. I'm just about to rhyme yeah. all the time. I'ma go spend a freaking dime on a better game than play, cause this is not that good. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, this is lit! Not a sack of hot toddies! This is oh, D! Bro, can I start barring off the windows? Hold on, I need to change my, my mouse sensitivity. Golly! Oh, oh, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, let me tell y'all how I do it. You get these boys in a the line, they their their A is grass, you feel me? I just don't feel like cussing. Where's, oh, I, I'm missing. Golly, bro! Nah, these zombies take a lot of shots. This is like wave 20 on COD, bro. I used to love playing zombies back in the day. Y'all want a COD video, bro? I know they dropped that new one. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta hit my headshots. Oh, let me get in my FPS bag. You feel me? Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Oh, I missed. Actually, don't, don't bring them out too fast. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I get up these steps? I don't like this environment. Oh, shoot, I'm out of soul. Did I sell? Did I sell? Where are the, oh my God. Woo! It's kind of hard to hit your shots on here. I ain't gonna hold you. Yo, this game is live. Where's the rest of the zombies at though? Uh, got, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got them. Let me watch my back. Oh, see, see, you see why I had to watch my back, bro? 
Come on, come on. I know my aim looks kind of trash right now. Please, let just just spare me the roasting, bro. I don't, I don't need that in my life. Oh, got him. Got him. Red dot him. Run up on the zombie and you know that I shot him. Oh, I'm about to freaking pop him. Just like Rice Krispies. Uh, crackle pop. You need to stop. God dang. Hit you. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this game. I'm kind of having fun a little bit. Oh. Oh. Yo, shout out to Ray LL for putting this in the game, bro. This is, this is kind of lit. I might need to stop playing or I'm going to be here all night, bro. We be all night. Whoa. Hold on, hold on. Whoa. Let me go explore. Dang. Bro, it's like I got to stop to line up my shots. This game is kind of... I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. I mean, is it? Woo, 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 woo. Oh, no, no, no. I think I cornered myself. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Okay. Die. Whoa, 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 whoa. Die. Die. No. No. Oh, my gosh. Yo, I don't. I think my run is screwed. Why did I get in this tunnel? This sound like some madness combat tricky music, don't it? Come here. Woo. Headshot. Red die. He got him. Freaking stop. I'm, oh, oh no. I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. No, please. Y'all know how dead I would be in if this was real life right here. Okay, this is easy, easy headshots. Easy headshots. Oh, I just did that. I found the hack pretty much, bro. Woo! That headshot was on accident. Not gonna hold you. Trash. Trash. Come on, trash. Come on. Trash. What the freak? Hit a shot. I was about to say, hit your shots, Mikey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My fault, y'all. Like, oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm actually having fun, but I, I, <laughs> I might need to stop. Hold on. Okay. All right, you know what, zombies? You worked hard for this. You can have me. You can have me for now. I might get my rematch a little later. Plague was kind of fun. I ain't gonna hold you, man. All right, service reporting. We already did that. We did Plague. This is a little display of the map. This is Iron Bark uh, State Park trail map. Whether you're planning to hike, assisting hikers, or you just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. You're so nice to where I don't trust you, bro. Who developed you? Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. I see you, Jack. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Only a job that I could do. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks. 1897? Or, or, oh, he said 97. I don't know why my mind went straight to. Was that the bite of 87? It's in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. Imagine the animatronic was here like, bro. <laughs> this training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. This is a truly rewarding job, which requires many hours of hard work. I ain't gonna lie, Jack. I'm observing the hairstyle. I ain't gonna cap, bro. It's definitely, what do the youngins say these days? It's giving grass. It's giving algae. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I ain't really feeling the cut. I know he used to have something like that in real life. It looked better in real life. In game, it looks so stringy and nasty on here. Like, he could have, Rick could have did be better working than in our <laughs> state of the art lookout towers. <laughs> And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Will do. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Ah. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. True. Keep records of daily temperature. When fire the temperature scary. rises, it is best that we have those recorded. I know, bro. Like, you know how scary a forest fire is, bro? Like, when it was actually happening, I think it was a big fire in Canada or something like that. And it was going over to, like, the, the east coast of the U.S. Or not east coast. Like, like the more northern side of the U.S. I think it made it down to... It might have made it down to Florida, which is far south. I don't know. But a lot of people were seeing, like, smoky air, 
the sky looked completely different. Like I, I know um, that's what some of my friends was experiencing. It's a scary thing, bro. We got to protect our environment and do what we can. Don't be out here being ignorant, taking matches and, and, and setting up forest fires to happen, bro. You going to burn down half the oxygen source and then kill Bambi in the middle of it, too. Like science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society requires to note all changes in temperature. I'm going to lie. Requires to note. All this dude's face looks like a biscuit that fell behind the stove and burnt like the science ah, nerds at the pausing. Panoramic Preservation Society requires to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Okay. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. Ah. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. That's not that so bad. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. <laughs> you have the privilege of using such a form. Hey, that form made me get offline uh, in the last Keep recorder. campers out of unregistered <laughs> campgrounds. I was intimidated. The campers might start a campfire, which could lead to a wildfire. Who's that? They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Dang, Piccolo, stop starting Make sure fires. to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. I will snitch. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. We do. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Indeed. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities <laughs> and notify them of the predicament immediately. <laughs> oh, man, that's so nice, bro. Hey, I hope you have an amazing day, too, don't Jack. Don't damage any of the equipment. You feel me? And um, I hope Thank Miss goes extremely well for you, too, bro. There's also this whole flash drive situation. I don't know if I'm going to need to entertain myself, uh, you know, during a waiting period later on at all or not, but I think I'm about ready to go to sleep. Always close the boards outside before. Ah, wise man, wise man. Okay. I definitely, I respect that, bro. Cause not everybody needs to be in your business, bro. I mean, sure. You don't even have anybody just up here with you. You know, you wouldn't get caught in 4k doing anything. But you still got to close everything, bro, because who wants to be watched? You feel me? Who wants to be watched? Nobody. Nobody at all, bro. So let's get some rest. I don't know if we're going to, like, work the daytime at all. Wait, wait, wait. 326 a.m. Un Unintelligible. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? What's happening? I can't make out what he's saying space to get up hold on hold on this this vibe seems wrong hold on what's happening Connor I had to pee or what the freak or how does your mind go straight from scared making sure that your your boy is okay to urinating like is you good where do I pee at do I just pee off the side y'all I might just have to hang it off the side Wait, on my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Yeah, you're right. I do feel strange. Let me get my flashlight. All right, game. I refuse to step outside without a flashlight. I don't care if I'm just peeing. I couldn't care less. Okay, I'm going to have to step outside without a flashlight. They forced my hand. Space to pee? What? Oh, yep. I had a feeling. I mean, could, could you blame him for doing this? Now, if they, imagine if the killer was under him. <laughs> He's just get, catching the golden shower right now. Oh, he would kill you even worse, bro. He might uh, might might chop off your meal parts too. I ain't gonna lie. Just make sure it, is this not a. Whoa. Or you ain't the only one that can howl. Oh! You feel me, bro? I feel like my howl sounded kind of weak. I got to get some more practice with it. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Night two. 
Dang, bro. We're just sipping tea, looking out the side. It's just you and the wind. Yeah, bro. Let me sip. Oh, this is... I ain't gonna lie. This seems like a good freaking life right now, bro. You're not even caught up on your phone. Or in my case, checking the, the comments or the stats of how the channel is doing. Checking the stocks to see if they're going up or down. You know, checking your phone to see if friends texted you or, you know, if somehow you missed a message from your girls. You know, you're, you're kind of just out here, bro. Just vibing, looking at the scenery. You feel me? Just enjoying the moment. Look at that. That looks like a desktop screensaver. It looks so nice, bro. I'm going to continue to sip. I'm sip. Dang, this tea is satisfying, isn't it? Or coffee? Listen to him. <laughs> the coffee got to be busted, ain't it? All right, man. Let's look this way. It's like a picture of a tower. This is just memories. Like, you know, I start scrapbooking. Might even show these pictures to my kids one day. You feel me? It's like, hey, you know, your old man used to work out in nature. All you kids were stuck on your phones and cellular devices. Back in my day, we you used to get me. sunlight. Me. <laughs> That's what all our parents be saying. Yes, sir. I do copy. I'm here. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? I copy. Nice to hear from you. I, I, oh, I'm not on the thing yet. All right. Tower 11. Do you copy? Uh, copy. What's up? What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. What, you see some campers? You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Eyes on the scope. Uh, uh, let me have a look. Oh, and we're about to get those boys. We're about to get those boys. Dang. I'm, uh, 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 ooh, this, that, feel good music. I don't even care if there's a forest fire right now. I gotta get lit. <laughs> All right, that's irresponsible of me. Let me go do my job before Mitch fires me. The smoke was white, indicative of a campfire. Ah. Okay. I need you to confirm. I can confirm. You see that smoke up north? Definitely do. Definitely. Nah, Lee, this is the second time I closed myself out. All right. You spot that white smoke up north? Absolutely. It appears to be in the Lacey Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. What? People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Oh, wait, wait. Do you have any other details? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lacey Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. All right, heading north. I'll report back Stay on safe it. safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out? Bear spray? Bear spray? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is my screen so zoomed in? My screen is so zoomed in. What the heck? I don't think it's supposed to be like this. Who are you with? Now let's get this bear spray and get out. Can't have any of these uh disrespectful, disobedient, ungrateful, not caring about the rules campers in my neck of the woods. You feel me? I have to do something about this. I will not stand for it. So look, 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 we gonna go this way. I think bro told me to just follow the trail. I do not want to see a bear jump out at me, bro. I do not want to see it. Lacey trail, yeah, we gotta go this way. God, see, look, look at that sign, bro. Nah, let me get ready. It's gonna be a bear somewhere. I ain't ready for it. Why did it fade to black? What the freak? 8.37 p.m. It took me this long? I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Oh my God. Oh, this is sinister. What? What? Is it a bear attack? What is happening? No camping. I love Jen. She gives the best head. <laughs> hey, shout out to Jen, bro. You know, glad you, you good at what you do. Um. And see, I don't want to touch none of these sheets, bro. It's probably crust and stains all in them we don't know nothing look at these weapons no wait this is like a warrior's place kind of it's whistling nah this looks like craven's uh 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 craven camping bro this is what this looks like i got it something from kayla 
on my way home, send you in a bit. Uh, pizza, pasta, bake. I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't really care about what you're talking about. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why my phone just blew up right then. Emergency closure, trail obstructed. Who's there? Oh, show yourself. The area beyond that site was closed. So not even we're going that way. I don't know what to think nor say right now, bro. Oh, check the campfire. I had to put it out. Oh, they want me to use this bucket. Okay, I'm pretty sure my hands were full. Are you serious? Bro, watch how a bear pops out immediately as I put down the spray. Honestly, I hate how our character is kind of oblivious. Homie literally heard a scream in the distance and failed to say anything about it. He was just treating it like it was just another day at work. Um, He's crazy. And question, why didn't our boy come with us? Like, you feel me? We shouldn't be out here battling uh, the perils of campers alone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You hear that? You hear that? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wait, wait, wait. You see that drawing? It's three people hanging. And then some type of sim oh lord uh 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 no he's he's right beside us no that just 907 p.m. that just gave me the chills bro as I hiked back to my tower through the dark I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong my mind you couldn't help but to think what might have happened all right we're just on a black screen is my game crashing oh okay. Woo. All right, let's go ahead and get back home. All right, so I took the time to read this. Basically, Kayla is just kind of scared, uh, you know, or asking if we were okay. You know, we weren't responding when she was asking. And, uh, you know, he let her know that dude just has bad service in this area. He thanked her for the recipe. Says he might try it tonight. I don't know how you're going to try it. Do we even have a stove? Like, like, literally, do we even have a stove, bro? Literally don't know. Had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. It wasn't vacant. Bro, did you not hear somebody scream like T up, man? Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? No, nah, tell me, tell me what you cooking, bro. What's what's hot? I, I want some. Man. Don't try to get out of it. Hey, Are look you here. Me? You gonna have to give me a plate. Son of a. Tough. They never learn, do they? They don't. Wait, what do you mean? Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Sheesh. Anything else you notice in those woods? Scream. Scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Okay, no trace of them since. Obviously, he doesn't know, so why would we ask him what happened to the kids? Uh... What does it mean? What does that have to do with campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Yeah, I... It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes... Everybody Every wants to. Know why Mitch had the staff tower 11. Urgently. Everybody, everyone wants to be freaking Matt Pat and solve all the theories and do detective work. Like, no campers, you don't want to do that. You're gonna lose your life. Anyway, all of this is unsettling. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, Sorry. absolutely not. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Wow, personally? What you gonna do? Pull out the, the freaking uh, 12 gauge? Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Sheesh, bro. Okay, so there's some little unsettling things happening in these woods. I don't know if it's nap time quite yet, uh, but I'll tell you what. Whoa, whoa, we got some messages from Kayla. 
Okay, what is she doing? Sin oh, no. By the way, look what I got at home. Woo-wee! Golly, bro. That looks like it might be kind of cool, bro. It just it looks like cornbread that's kind of burnt on the sides. What is that? That's that's that casserole uh, she was talking about? I mean, the recipe goes hard and everything, except for the diced tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes, bro personally mom made that same casserole recipe today nom nom he he looking at that photo makes my stomach growl as a matter of fact let me try that recipe now not delivered we have no service so we're pretty much isolated um i guess the only way that we can even contact 911 is by radioing them uh yeah this is this is rough out here man at this point i was starving yeah, 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 yeah. I had to get all the ingredients that Kayla's recipe asked for. So look, we put pasta, marinara sauce. Let's put some pasta, some freaking um, dish soap. No, nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, where's the marinara sauce? This is marinara sauce. Yeah. Dang, you freaking drenched the bowl in that. A, a little macaroni football in the middle. Spread it around more, bro. All right, pepperoni and mozzarella cheese. Let's see. Let's see what this be pepperoni. I had a feeling. Eh. Bro, them six pepperonis. You need more than that, bro. <laughs> All right. And I can't. This is so bright. I can't barely see what's even in there. Uh. Yeah, what is this? Baked beans. No, don't nobody want that. Mm, eggs. I don't need that. Nah, I don't care about that. Nope. Um. Oh, mozzarella cheese. There we go. Okay, what's next up? Diced tomatoes. Oh my gosh, bro. Can I just... Ah, why, why do I have to add that in, bro? That's kind of gross a little bit, bro. Ugh. All right, anyway. We're going to bake at 420 degrees for how long? Golly, can I turn this joint up? Oh, I think it's cooking itself. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty much cooking itself. There's not nothing I can do. This dude still doesn't remember my name yet. It's like, I j I'm just always gonna be a new guy. What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. All right, good job. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of their mind. For sure. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name for the night yet? Getting to it. Better get to it. Bitch didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. Got it. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. My pleasure. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Have a lovely night, bro. Check on the wind. What's the wind speed looking like? 20 uh, MPH again, or, or 20 knots. Actually, it's not miles per hour. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, what was the other thing I had to mess around with? 48 degrees. All right, so it's about 48 degrees. Knots are at 20. It's looking pretty clear outside, and we assisted no hikers. The name is Jack Nelson. Let's go. Wasn't sure if I put in the right clear. What, what is it? Cloudy. Oh, okay. Yep, got it. Let me check. Is it really cloudy outside? It looks about the same as it's been looking. What? The, oh, bro, I thought someone's finna explode. I like eating in bed. First of all, this thing should be piping hot, shouldn't it? Like, what the freak? Oh, this ASMR, bro. This is making me hungry. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't eat nothing today so far. Hey, well, a couple biscuits, but like, yo, I don't know who the camper is. I think uh, the Tower 12 guy seems pretty genuine overall. Oh, he's full. Nice. So you can eat that another day. He seems pretty genuine, so I don't quite feel like he is the killer or anything of that nature. Uh, I would be genuinely surprised if that was the case, but I know we're getting ready to go to bed soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and close all these down. We're gonna pack it up for the night, bro. We're gonna just, just cool and, and chill for a little bit. No, today wasn't so bad. You feel me? We at least didn't get mauled by a bear. That's always nice.
Nah, I heard footsteps. I heard footsteps. Oh my God, I heard footsteps. Oh, heck, nah, bro. I would have ran down to my RV same night. I would have quit without notice. I would have a zero tolerance policy for all of this foolishness, bro. But we got an ax right here. Can't pick it up. The game is not gonna let us defend ourselves. But if they would have let me have the ax, bro, I would have been moving like Kratos on here, bro. I wouldn't have been scared of not nothing. Not nothing. Always shut the boards. The boards are shut. What, this one board? Oh, my fault. Forgot about it, I guess. 2.27 a.m. Was this another? I was woken up by the feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Oh, nah, that's that whistling, bro. You know what this reminds me of? Was he literally at the window? Oh my gosh, there was something strange about that night. Axe, 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 axe. Oh, turn on the light, turn on the light. I know you're here. What? Is he about to break in? Is he about to come inside, bro? Is he about to get No, 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 no. Oh, look, let me tap in. Let me, let me tap in. Oh, there, there's nobody that can help me. Do I have a weapon? Do I have pepper spray, anything? Anything at all? Okay, we finna have to go to war. Bro was well equipped. He was prepared. He had on a mask. There was nothing I could do about pepper spray. <laughs> oh my God, that scared the crap out of me. Oh Lordy, 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 Lordy. Look, bro. Okay, so if he, if he's literally that way, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I, I literally don't. Can I see him through the cracks? Oh my God. Oh my God. And what did he even have on, bro? Is this some type of ritual doer? Is he into that that other stuff? I don't know, bro. I don't know what homie's objective is. I feel like at any moment he could walk in. Literally could. Okay, the music stopped at least. What do I do? Get on my computer? Oh, if there's any danger, call 911, right? Oh my gosh, bro. Whoops, well, say goodbye. Time to die. Are we good? Oh, see? This is satanic. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. This is. Hello? Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can, bro, I'm, no, nah, I'm, I'm actually terrified. Can I get my flashlight at least? I need my flashlight. What do I do? What do, oh, oh I thought he was behind me. Bro, the shadows, the shadows. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I feel like I did the wrong thing. No, 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 we gotta wake up this dude. We gotta wake up Tower 12. We, we, ha sir, you're more experienced than I. Talk to me. Connor, do you do, do you freaking copy? Come on, bro. Wake that up. up. Come on. Hello? I have any idea what time it is? There, there's, uh, there's something outside my door. Just couldn't wait until morning. It couldn't. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. Ignore? Now let let this weird stuff happen. Freaking seven foot man walking by your premises and you expect me to ignore it? I'll keep that same energy. I don't think these kids are messing around. Bro, these, these ain't kids. Be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. No, 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 this is real. This, this ain't a drill. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right, here's what- That makes it even worse. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. N for now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't it'll be morning before you know it. <sighs> Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over now. Bro, I'm done. Bro, talking about some thank you and good night. Connor didn't make any sense. Is, is he in on this, bro? He's just tired and he doesn't care. That's what it is. There's not much else I could have done in the dark. 
Does this joint even lock? I don't even think it locks, bro. I don't even think it locks. Bro, this pisses me off. I ain't gonna lie. And I'm supposed to go back to sleep after this didn't happen? Oh, I know you lying, bro. I would not have went back to sleep. I would have... I think I would have been scared to travel at night. Oh, this is... This is... This is vile, bro. This is sick, bro. Next day, I woke up. Not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason uh, it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. I occupy most of my days either with simple maintenance in or around the tower. You need to put maintenance on these these freaking binoculars, bro. I can't see nothing. Or by scanning densities of trees around me. My paranoia of these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Oh, I had to hold the left mouse button to clean these uh freaking binoculars. I was about to say, like, how did they expect me to <laughs> manage to look through these dirty things? Oh my gosh, bro. I'm so glad that that was a, a punch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? Who was that? A flare? SOS signal? Oh, let me go back. Let, let me let me tap in with uh with old dude. Where the door is right here. Alright, talk to me, bro. Hello? Is anyone there? I don't even think I like you anymore, bro, because like at, at the same you really did not have my back, bro. Like, and, and I feel like I just can't. I can't have somebody like you on the squad, bro. I just, I can't. I need help. Please. No, you need answer. help. Oh, the habit the table's turned. Oh my gosh, bro. You annoying pig, bro. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Oh, this is a hacker. Not a hacker, a hiker. <laughs> what the freak am I talking about? Take a deep breath. Okay. okay. All right, now what's going I, on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Yeah. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think, okay. I think I'm lost. Describe your location. Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? I remember passing a small stream earlier. Ah, okay. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, this is just like what happened in, in, in Killer Frequency, and I got somebody killed! Oh my god! I'm at a trail intersection right now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map. Ooh, shoot, bro. Nah, his life is in our hands. A trail intersection? I'm gonna be real, this map didn't help me at all. Hello? Uh, uh are, are you still there? Uh, uh, I, these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. All right, will do, will do. Um. Oh my gosh, you know what? Right is right. Trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Wait, wait, wait. Can you help me? Wait a minute. He's walking west. East is right. He came from east, so he needs to take the right, right? I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. Please I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. Thanks for helping me through this. <laughs> you, you shouldn't trust me either. Over and out. I hope you reach back safely. I'm right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I heard a whistle. I heard a whistle. I hear you. What? No. No. I hear your whistles. 
That's not me! What? what? I see you behind the tree. That's not house. me! I would have sprayed him in the eyes. Holy moly. What took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. And I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. All right, we got a little supply drop, bro. Okay. Hello? Can I can I talk? Oh, I have to choose that. What were you doing there last night? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you mean? Up north? Why were you there? Uh, I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a camper's smoke. Oh Lord, have mercy! Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if you anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. Can I check on the camper now? Like, this is such a long, casual chat. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Uh, just getting used to the new environment. You're, you're kind of strange, bro. I don't even know if I trust this dude, bro. He's, he's kind of weird. He is, oh, what the, I'm just getting used to, uh, uh, I'll uh, men mention the skull, yeah. Oh Lord, have mercy. Did you take a, f a photo of before cleaning it up? I uh, didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. What? Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Where is he now? I was too hungry. He's still walking. Bro, isn't there a camper that we should be thinking about? Not food, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. He's literally finna walk in, into the whistleblower. That pisses me off, man. I, I can't believe this, bro. I can't freaking believe this. Let me put my, my bear spray over here. I've been trying to use bear spray more on humans than anything. All right, heat that sucker up, bro. Got to heat it on up, heat it on up, heat it on up. We finally got a piece of casserole. Dun, 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 ain't gonna burn the casserole. I ain't gonna burn on the grill. Okay, here we go, bro. I like eating in bed, freaking lazy piece of trash. Oh, Lee, this lasagna sound like it busts, bro. Oh, nah, he burnt the bottom of it. It's trash lasagna. Ill, elites, elites, elites. Definitely elites. Not gonna lie. All right, now he's done with it. Let's go ahead and put this sucker in the... Well, I guess we'll just leave it right there. Whew. Gotta find something to occupy my time. All right, let's 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 check the uh, flash drive media. Plant and interview. we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Moisturize and plant? Or did it just get watered? You <laughs> what do you do for a living? <laughs> what is happening? Uh -huh. Bro. Yeah. Nah, you're insane, bro. How does that work? They say talking to your plants wow. is actually good. Um, Not like this, though. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? It's more like saying positive things to your plants. Sir, oh no. 
Sir, there's no need for that language. Oh, no. He lost his wife? Sir, calm down. <laughs> what did you just say? Is that PG? Nobody <laughs> talks to me like that on my show. <laughs> what the f*** did you just say? Yo. Get over here, you piece of s***. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny, man. All right. Technical difficulties, please stand by. I don't even know what I just watched. Ron Ross. Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. Oh my gosh. My wife. Oh my gosh. I love my wife. Why does Anyways, testicles oh. remind you of your wife? What the? <laughs> we know where his mind is at. Ooh, I'm about to die. Oh, oh, oh. I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my. Name. You're not gonna. You're not gonna I'll paint some balls, are you? Ah, there it is. The basting <laughs> brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. This is I ridiculous. Think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin, right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife, uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. We're done. Check out the cat. Ah. Uh. It's a, it's a, it's a freaking cat. It's a freaking cat. Gotta do a home run just like I got a bat. Then I look at the house. I might just go and get a freaking spouse. So to do live with me in my house. Dang. Oh my God. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 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 Wait a minute. Dang. Okay. I've been here at the Iron Bark Lookout. Hey, we just chilling and we just gonna build up some clout. Uh. Somebody crazy came over here trying to do a ritual. I'm just about to. Oh, what is that? Is this a demon cat? This is trippy, bro. So fascinating. Wow. What am I watching? What the freak am I watching, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna cap. I feel like I missed the whole message because I was enjoying the beat and rapping. So, you know, my bad. Well, I guess that um, we need to do a report. I do remember that much. So let me go ahead and get these good old stats. What's it looking like? 26 today, a little bit windier. And uh, it is 51.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's put 51.4 and 26 cloud condition. Wasn't paying that much attention. We'll just put uh, what rainy. I guess it might have been raining. We assisted one hiker and this is your boy Jack Nelson checking in. Something didn't look right. Yeah. OK, let me look outside. <laughs> I was trying to just guess it. Um, oh, let me see. It always looks cloudy and misty and, and dark and odd around here, bro. Or, or maybe the weather is like windy. Would that be the thing to write? Wind. Yeah, yeah, wind. Some didn't look right. What? Oh, 54.1. My bad. My bad. 54.1. Definitely got that wrong. I know some of y'all was face palming watching me do this. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, we're going to get in this bed, bro, and just. Oh, I got to close my stuff again. Oh, we got to light the stove. All right, let me go downstairs. I'm just completely scared of this environment by this point. Literally heard somebody walking. Why did it get so quiet? Why did it get so quiet? Hello? If anybody's in here, you should know. I have a... Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Almost dropped a tear. Almost dropped a tear. 
What are you doing here, son? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. Imagine you ask for someone's name and then they say names can be deceiving. What the? F nice to meet you, I guess. So, do you, bro, you look like Bob from um, freaking Good Luck Charlie, bro. <laughs> so, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? I agree, firists are high this season. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What, what are you talking about, man? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the tower now. Uh, have a good night, Jack. <laughs> hope you do. Hope you sleep well. But remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. For well, Jack. You can't make this up. Do I even have to say anything about that guy's character? We all just watched what he said and did. We all fully understand why he's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you see a random bald man mysteriously come up trying to start, uh, start conversation in the woods, don't, don't give him the time of day. He is not to be trusted. He is definitely not to be trusted. All right. All right, that should be enough to light this fire. Smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. Oh my gosh. You there? Oh, so so this is actually Connor. Connor freaking sucks, bro. He was not down to help me when I needed it. This is Jack. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get firewood. Ran into Silas downstairs. Who? The guy maintaining the nearby radio tower? Is this about yesterday? What are you talking about? Are you trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? The radio tower's been out of service for ages now. <laughs> it closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Ooh. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to, Connor? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. Shut your stupid... Do your name. You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Ooh, it's forbidden. Like, what do you think, he's not gonna break the rules? I just talked to a bald dude named Sot. He said names can be deceiving. That's why he didn't want to give his name. That's not even his government, bro. His name is literally... Bob from Good Luck Charlie. That's that's who he is. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. How about I call the cops and they do it? Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. Tower 12, signing off. Okay. Over and out. Uh, I'm, I'm done. Uh, forget all the good nights. This dude does not know how to ever take a freaking hint, bro. He, he just literally doesn't know, bro. Like. He doesn't use his context clues. I'm over here so shook and stressed in this forest. I can't deal with this man. There ain't a check that's worth it. You'd have to pay me a million dollars to go through all this. And I still wouldn't do it. I still wouldn't do it. Cause it's not worth my peace, bro. It's not worth my freaking peace. I promise you. Now under normal conditions, sure I'd work the job. Sure, it wouldn't be that much of a big deal. But like, nah, bro, this ain't normal. I can't even lock the door and I got people walking around, peeking inside the environment, leaving skulls. My unease starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself, 
that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get uh, getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. What? However, that would soon change. So it, it gets worse. Two nights later. Should have did it like the SpongeBob voice. <laughs> 9 18 p.m. Okay, what's happening? You got a minute? Sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. What is this, security cams? They wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Ah, let's go. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it? probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyway, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. How about the computer and AI upgrades come take your job? I'm so tired of it. Where's Tower 12 at? Where's Tower 12? I'm gonna look at you when I'm talking to you. I'm so sick of it. This dude has had me out here doing everything, like going out to check on the the, the the campers allegedly with the fire now he doesn't even know how to tell me to update my freaking computer he's not taking any of the the stuff that i'm saying seriously bro all he does is clock in and tell me another issue so i can handle it instead of him bro you lazy piece of trash bro just literal trash literal duty water that's what he is bro that's what connor is i have no respect I have no respect for him. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta update the system somehow. All right, maybe there's something I can do in here. Um, let's type help to see the command list. Uh, update installs system update with the package code. Okay, that's actually you know what that's pretty simple. Let's do update. Please answer the update package code. What the? I don't know. I need some music because uh, I don't know what's happening. I can't barely even figure this out, bro. I don't know where I'm supposed to look. I can't mess with the files, bro. I can't figure out this update. This freaking update. I can't figure it out. This is a song about snakes. They've been acting really fake. I know a brother at Tower 12. Oh my gosh, I wish I could just put him on a shelf and never look at him again. But he's there, I can't pretend like he's not. Tell me how did my partner become my biggest op? Oh my gosh, told him to help, he said, nah, I'd rather stop. I'm still on top. And you're down below just cause you're new You gotta figure out what to do Ooh, I would hit you with my shoe But there's nothing I could do Ooh, but you smell like boo-boo Yeah, you stink, huh? Yeah, you stink I'ma escape before you even get a chance to freaking blink Oh my, oh my gosh Are you you, 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 you probably got a weird freaking kink, huh? <laughs> hey, because you're kinda odd. Most likely you got a dad by. Damn! Uh, this is a diss. And if you die, man, you won't be missed. <laughs> Forget Connor, bro. Pisses me off, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, 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 so. Check for available system updates. All right, let's see if I can check update all right three updates total filtering okay so let me see if i can enter that in let me type update one more time package code is four three four six oh eight four good package found looking for serviceable lines what line do i get please enter in an active line okay so 54 16 is busy 10 45 is busy 5987 is busy. So 5487. Let's try 5487. Hey, we got um a whole different back. What the? Here we go again. 
Now guess who I can't call? Connor! Yeah, we can't call him. You know, he doesn't have our back at all. Okay, the power's out, so. Whatever. I guess I gotta go to- Oh, that's just a tree. Whoo, bro, why is the trees gyrating? Ooh, that scared me. Generator ran out of gas. That's kind of you feel me, bro? Ooh, I'm 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 worried. Okay, okay. Is there gas in here? All right, let's fill her on up, bro. I do not like coming outside in this environment. I don't know what it is about Fierce to Fathom, but they create such an environment that literally terrifies you if you have to leave like bro like i don't know how this game gets the atmosphere so good but i am genuinely scared right now bro i had to pee before going back up see now now watch when we get up oh uh, it's the mic it's the mic situation again Oh my God, bro. Wait, what? So is somebody gonna know I'm in here? If you come in here, your mammy can't save you. If you open the door, I'ma pee in your face. I feel like I hear breathing. I don't know, bro. I don't know. We go. Oh my goodness. One week later. Time was flying by. This game is too good right now. I ain't gonna hold you. Tracks. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. Of course, I'm not surprised, bro. Cause even when it wasn't under maintenance, I was still covering for him. Lazy, bro. You suck. When there were no fires going, the only thing I do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might've been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Mmm. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. Another fire? I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Alright. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? Waking up again. Alright, bro. That's, um... <clears throat> Let me take a seat, bro. Good job reporting it. You copy. I guess he's not totally useless. He does report stuff. Right here, Connor. Tell you what, I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Okay. And now I'm seeing this. Where you see smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Sheesh. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. Of course, he's in my sector, bro. No wonder the last guy quit or died or whatever the freak happened to him. Connor. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. You know what, Connor? If I ever catch you in these streets, I want you to know. It's not gonna be pretty, bruh. It's not gonna be pretty. Freaking gosh, bro, of course. Hey, don't run away this time. Take your photos and IDs. Okay. Worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Yeah, you're always getting rest, Connor. Okay. See you never, hopefully. Okay. Why is it so dang quiet? It's so quiet. It's so quiet. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's, it's, it's quiet. A little too quiet. All right, he said towards the west. West is left-ish? Is it... Uh, here? Ah, I see. I got eyes on him. All right, what's happening? Excuse me? I didn't know what to make of it. Take a picture. Only thing that made sense was it was the time to take evidence of it. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Um... Whoa, bro, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh, this is a, a, a demon family reunion? Take a photo, okay, I had to stand right here. Oh, let's, let's grab this photo. I got lower the sensitivity on my mouse. 
<gasps> what the? No, 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 no. Oh my God, they're all going. Oh my God, they're all going. Oh my God. Are you serious? How? What kind of horsepower do you have in your feet? What? Hide, hide, hide. took everything in me to not roast them boots. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go fast! Oh my God! What the? Bro, bro. Nah, tell me why I was over here in my seat. Freaking moving my feet along too. Look at the title of this chapter, Abandoned. Connor, bro. <gasps> oh my gosh, bro. That thing probably saw a flash. That makes no sense. How in the world, bro, what kind of demon activity do you have to have to be able to literally make it over here this fast? Shift, sprint, sprint, sprint. The And then they're gonna put these nasty boots back in my screen again, bro. Like, like literally, he had the audacity to park those boots right in front of my face. So that was the last thing bro saw before he died. What a menace. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He was right there. He was right freaking there. He was right there. Oh my gosh. I got caught in 4K. Woo! Woo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We going, we going, we going, we going. another one down here as you know it was a whole tribe come on come on come on come on come on come on why did it fade to black talk to me what's happening what's happening P please, please fill me in update me update me oh yeah we out we out we out hey there's a crazy person in town I oh my god oh my god oh no please please let me out let me out Go, 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 go! Golly! 
As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed into the alert headquarters. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out there, and Mitch answered. At this point, I feel like y'all are in on it. You're crazy. What? So, so they're just disregarding this despite having evidence too? Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they were met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can uh, become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on doing uh, camping soon, please be safe. Ooh, that's a crazy story. Wow. I mean, Fears to Fathom never misses, but dang, bro, I feel like he outdid himself with this one. I'm glad that I really, like, played this game. Like, I saved it for when I had the interview in Plant VA. Oh, okay. PG was on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my boy, man. Okay. But yeah, bro. Um, this was dope. Look, Ray, if you want to give out early access for the next game, if you want a voice actor, I'm ready and willing. Please, please have me, bro. It, it would be amazing. But yeah, I love this game. Um, make sure I download it on Steam. It's got to be somewhere around $8 ish. It's really not that expensive, despite how much goes into it. Beautiful game, bro. Did so many scary parts. Like when your mic activates in these games, it's terrifying. Um, <laughs> crazy story from start to finish. I had a great time. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this game and any other games that y'all would like me to uh, play in the future. Just let me know. Thank you so much for your time. Take care of yourselves. I love y'all. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you enjoy. And I will indeed catch y'all on the next one, bro. Peace. <laughs>